More than a week after two NASA astronauts were supposed to leave the International Space Station, comes word they won't return home until next month. The Starliner blasted off on June 5th from Cape Canaveral in Florida after a failed launch in May. The crew was supposed to return just over a week later, but was pushed back to allow for a planned spacewalk. The two astronauts, Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams, are now working to figure out issues with helium links and thruster failure on the capsule before they return back here to Earth. News Nation senior correspondent Brian Enton following this story joins us live from Cape Canaveral. Brian, this sounds pretty serious. What's NASA saying about all of this? Yeah, Brooke, we're at Kennedy Space Center. You can see the launch pads behind me. That's where the Starliner uh, launched from back on June 5th. They were supposed to come back, these two astronauts, nearly two weeks ago. Uh, you mentioned it, though. The first return was delayed. Now a second return has been delayed. And word is they may not be returning until the beginning of July now because of these helium leaks. I want to read you the latest statement from NASA. Uh, it says, we are taking our time and following our standard mission management team process. We are letting the data drive our decision making relative to managing the small helium system leaks and thruster performance we observed during rendezvous and docking. Now, the Starliner previously suffered a series of issues with five thrusters that abruptly stopped working uh, during flight and a series, again, of, of those helium leaks. NASA says the most recent delay We'll give the team time to review the uh, uh, propulsion system data. They say the astronauts, again, Butch Wilmore and Sunny Williams, are not stuck in space. They make that clear that they're not stuck and that the Starliner is cleared to leave at any time if there is an emergency. One NASA expert that we spoke to says that this explanation, the statement I just read to you, uh, is just too vague. That raises more questions uh, than it answers. It's like, well, did you miss some data before? Or are there new data to look at? Uh, and why is it indefinite? And so they, you know, it, it's kind of makes you furrow your brow a little bit and say, are there more issues or issues they missed before that we don't know about? Um, NASA really is kind of doing itself a disservice by not kind of disclosing, disclosing more about what's going on. Yeah, you've got a lot of people wondering, Brooke, whether NASA is being totally forthcoming with all the information uh, that they have. But again, the latest is that the soonest that those two astronauts will be coming back to Earth on the Starliner uh, is now the beginning of July. Brooke. And of course, a lot of people wondering how those astronauts are doing. Uh, Brian, what do you know about that? Yeah, I mean, they seem very, very positive. There's been videos and pictures of them uh, at the space station. Uh, they look they look happy. They're apparently able to do additional research and experiments uh, now that they're up there. And we're told that the Starliner can remain there. It'll have enough helium to get back for at least 45 days. And NASA also says if there's some kind of emergency or reason that they would need to abruptly leave the space station, uh, the Starliner could leave at any time uh, because of that. Brooke. All right. Good to know. Still lots to watch there, though. Brian, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.